Any damn thing changed? My name's Lee Boy. And my name is Fuzz! Ha <laughs> ha! Yay, Fuzz, 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 Fuzz! Relax, you irrelevant Rosita relative. Now, have you looked for a job on Sesame Street? I hear they're hiring. Aw, Lee Boy. Uh, you don't want me around anymore? You know, I'm starting to think your time here has run its course, which is perfect because today I want to talk about something that irritates me. Cancel culture. Cancel culture? Is that what happened to Nick Cannon? Precisely, Fuzz and KRS-One tried to warn him in Cannon's class a little while back. But that paycheck is going to dictate what's going to come out come that out. line. Or come out your mouth of that line. Now, feeding your family is way more important than speaking the truth to a people that's going to treat you like they did Dr. King. Mm. If there was a reward to speaking truth, more people would. See, Nick was trying to play semantics with semitism. Yeah, I've done a few semesters, so I'm like semi-pro at this. But I can tell Nick has been hanging around a bunch of Hebrew Israelites. But where he went wrong was trying to attribute savage human nature to genetic makeup. Now, that sounds a lot like eugenics. Eugenics? <gasps> what are those? This actually came up last episode, Fuzz. Have you been paying attention? Well, let me give you a modern day example of the mindset. All men are created equal. Well, it's not true. Because some are smart, some aren't. You have to have the right, the right genes. I have a certain gene. I'm a gene believer. Do we believe in the gene thing? I mean, I do. I have a great genes and all that stuff, which I'm a believer in. When you connect two racehorses, you usually end up with a fast horse. Secretariat doesn't produce slow horses. Well, I think I was born with a drive for success. I was born with a certain intellect. The fact is, you have to be born and blessed with something up here. God helped me by giving me a certain brain. It's this. It's not my salesmanship. It's what? This, you know what that is? It's the brain power. Oh, Lee boy, that doesn't sound very good, but is it wrong for people to have pride and confidence in themselves and their people? No issue there, Fuzz, but it's ironic because Terry Crews, who couldn't pay his way out of cancellation, tried to warn us that the BLM campaign could be perceived as black supremacy. So while Nick and Terry have had opposing views on race relations in America, including support for Gabrielle Union in her fight against white supremacy and America's Got Talent, they both got canceled by the same culture. Only difference, Terry got to keep his job. Before this tweet, everybody told me it was impossible. You got to understand. What's so wild is that they, they feel like, and this is what I'm talking about. Look, black supremacy and this moral superiority is something that people feel like can't happen in the black community. I just thought, man, because I have another view, um, and I thought as a, a, a black people, we must be allowed to have other views. It doesn't seem fair, Lee boy. Why are all these people getting canceled for speaking their minds? Isn't this a free country? It is, Fuzz, but the ability to speak your mind doesn't exonerate you from the consequences. So it's important to approach certain subjects with accuracy and sensitivity. Take DJ Academics, for example. Now, he recently got fired from Complex and banned from Twitch for using insensitive language in his drunken tirade going after Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. Fucking flop. Chrissy Teigen suck a dick. Straight up. John Legend, if you feel that type of way about it, nigga, you can suck one too. Because I don't, like, your bitch came out randomly one time. She tagged some shit. If you want to know where the beef is, she tagged some shit with me in it. And she had some slick ass comment. I don't give a fuck. You ain't that funny, bitch. Don't mention my name, period. Suck a whole dick. And if you if you as a man feel some type of way, you suck the same dick with her, right? Straight she's up. simultaneously dealing with her own cancellation? This is just a whole lot to keep up with. Oh, no, Lee boy. This is getting out of hand. So... What can we do to get cancel culture under control? Just don't participate in groupthink. Study facts and come up with your own conclusions. Because while we're out here canceling outspoken celebrities, our dog whistling president is sicking cancel culture on Dr. Fauci and the CDC, attempting to undermine science for the sake of opening schools. And you know, Fuzz, I got a little extra time, so why don't we just sit down and do some research now? Okay, let's sit down and do some research. <laughs> oh, so what should I Google? Mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you gonna learn the day for us. So like I was saying, I don't like cancel culture. My name is Lee Boy. Have a nice day. Slap.